What's going on guys and welcome back. As you notice I received the Carriaria frame and I'm gonna show you how to assemble uh, this um, beautiful piece of design and engineering. And I'm already assembled one frame but I have the second one and um, I decided to build uh, this one first just to uh, find out how to assemble this frame in the best way and um, show you uh, where you need to put your attention. I'm already received frames with the 3D printed parts and have a look at the quality of this stuff. Uh, this is additional products uh, that you can buy from Carriaria but guys look at the logo I hope you can see and logo on the bottom also and look at this just watch this is adjustable angle adjustable angle GoPro mount so this mount needs uh, to have a strap because it's easy to like tear it in two pieces so strap is the must for for the 3d printed uh, GoPro mount from Korea area uh, so what kind of tools we gonna use basically we just need to have a screwdriver and a hammer yes maybe this is not the best way but after a couple of minutes I will explain you why I decided just to tap some time with a hammer instead of using another tools. Let me just take out all the parts from, from the bags and I will explain you the order. This is what you're gonna have in your box of Carriaria Care. Let's go through everything. So this is the soft ma uh, this is the landing pads that are going through the um, arm like that. Like that, you just need to push it. Like let me show you. But I'm not gonna put it right now because I still need to put some motors and I thought that I gonna use this uh, hole to put my motor wires through there so this is gonna be the three standoffs for uh, motor mount aluminum and uh, uh, four aluminum parts um, for the uh, I would say this bottom part but this is not even the plate this is just like a uh, part um, straps, lightweight arm support, uh, the um, heavy weight I would say this is the wings and I think I'm gonna use these wings when I'm gonna rip uh, bandos because it's uh, really make your uh, frame way more stronger. Uh, this is the top plate, two sides uh, of the middle plates I would say like side plates four arms uh, bottom plate carbon piece um, this is gonna be the mm, I think this is the flight controller uh, mount and hardware and of course stickers guys look at this look at the quality of the of the frame and um, attention to the details look inside the inside the back there is a little bit of oil you know to prevent the, um, the screws from from rust and let me take out the screws because uh, I want to show you what kind of screws and when we're gonna use it so we have uh, only four kind of hardware the long uh, screw I think this is the eight millimeters after comes uh, six millimeters and uh, five millimeters I guess and the press nut so the press nut 
we're gonna we're gonna use for the uh, side plates focus for the side plates you need to have a really stable and flat surface this can be your table or this can be your floor I'm always using the floor because uh, nothing can be more <laughs> stable than floor and flat of course well guys it's too noisy so I think I'm gonna use my uh, regular way uh, I don't want to take out the camera but um, this is the same that you're gonna see uh, here on the table just uh, put in the flat surface and just tap it gently press nuts in the place and please make sure that um, the nuts are in the place and sitting properly and deep inside the fiber this is gonna be the alignment of the side plate so the press nuts should be inside like so uh, the next step I would recommend to put your uh, motor mount to the um, um, arms and this is quite tricky part uh, Nadine from Carriaria he told me that the tension in this frame quite high and honestly I love this thing because uh, when the tension is high it means that your frame gonna be way more stable there is not gonna be any kind of vibrations I want to show you some ways how I'm dealing with this stuff as example for the motor mount I can mount it only using my fingers so first of all you just when you just put and align your motor, motor mount to the to the uh, to the arm just hold it like that and push it on the top part of the motor mount until you will hear the click all right like so and after press to the bottom part if it's really hard to push it like right now you can just like take some take the pliers take it out and try it one more time all right that one that one is done just to look um, into into the hole so you, you shouldn't see the carbon fiber uh, carbon fiber on the way of the screw so in that frame the tension was a little bit higher than in the silver one so yeah if you cannot manage to push it with your fingers just again use your floor put your uh, arm like that and slightly tap it but don't damage it and everything will be fine because uh, if you're gonna use the sandpaper or something you know to take out the like a little bit of the carbon fiber it means that you are uh, losing the tension and you are really don't want to to do this <clears throat> so for the motor mount and arms we're gonna use the longest uh, screws this eight millimeters I guess well when all the motor mounts on the uh, arms we can proceed with the assembling of the bottom part of the frame so you need to take the um, bottom plate and try to fit your arms into the bottom plate of the um, of the carrier area yeah. but uh, the tension as I told is quite high so maybe some some of the some of the sides will not gonna get easy in the place uh, so what I suggest to do is just to um, hold your bottom part and move the arm and try to to put it on on the side as deep as you can fourth one was really easy to snap into the place 
and I think I'm gonna leave it for the last one so now we, what you can do you can take two pieces of the aluminum part put it like that side aluminum part and put your arm into the place like push I could say I would say if you see through the holes and everything is aligned fine and you can see that screw will come through take your the longest screw from your set again and start assembling so now you have one arm and two aluminum pieces holding in one place and this is um, how you can easily assemble uh, the rest don't screw the arms too tight in that stage because uh, this is what let you screw all the things together faster and easier and I would recommend you to put the last two arms together because if you're gonna put only one arm and after after that the fourth you're not gonna be able to move it when you're gonna um, start pushing when the all four arms in the place and half screwed in the um, bottom uh, bottom part you can just like screw it uh, till the end and uh, proceed with the next part and this will be the top part of the frame this is the VTX plate uh, at this moment uh, the Carriaria Kea shipping only with this option but in the next batch Dean from um, from the company told me that he's gonna make the Unify uh, plate for, for SMA connector and you want to put that guy right here Well, the tension is not quite high here, so it's not gonna be a, a problem. And then, then let's start assembling this one. In the silver version of Carriere Kea, it was quite hard, and I used to use the hammer, but so far I can see. It's not really hard in that one. Let me put the VTX plate first. All right. Oh no, I did a mistake. So the, as I told, the press nuts should be inside of your frame. Should goes like that. Looks like the tension in that side a little bit higher. So I'm gonna take our favorite hammer and slightly, I'm saying slightly, start tapping on the top of the joints till I will see that uh, the carbon fiber plates on the side and on the top they are really close to each other and they touching and this is uh, the part when you want to put your standoffs and for the standoffs uh, you want to use the uh, medium size screws from your uh, hardware set And when the standoffs in the place, there is only a couple of screws left and your frame will be fully assembled. So this is how it's gonna look like. And look at this. I love the solution of the unfoldable top part. 
where you can easily access, um, maintain your, your gear and just close it back. But the tricky part in that stage that you need to screw screws right here somehow and maybe some of the maybe some of you guys have the screwdriver that can go through the arms like here but my one is not going through and this is how I'm gonna suffer I guess of course you can you can screw in uh, your your screw with a little bit of the angle but I'm not sure what is the right way to do it honestly maybe you just need to take take out the arm first and after do and after screw it like that if you guys know how to do it please do let me know well and the next step will be your choice what you're gonna use to support your uh, vertical arm system you're gonna use the lightweight uh, or you're gonna use the uh, heavyweight uh, frame uh, let me let me take the scales and let, let's compare what is the different difference between the weight So the frame itself weighs uh, 120 grams, and oh, wow, I I didn't thought I didn't expect that it's gonna be like uh, another premium frame. I thought the Carrieria care a little bit on the heavy side, but let's put the lightweight arm support, and this will be additional eight grams. And let's put the wings there. And this is gonna be additional 19 grams. Well, as I told, if I'm gonna rip the bandus, this is gonna be my go-to uh, arm support. And I don't know what will happen and how, how it's gonna act in with the concrete, but hopefully this is the really, really uh, durable frame. But for the daily basis, for training or just uh, park creeping, I'm gonna use the lightweight support. So, 128 grams. Uh, it's amazing. It's just. I don't have words. I think this is the end of the part one, the frame is assembling and on the next part that gonna appear here, right here, will be the um, full, full build with the motors and electronics and VTX and everything there. Well, I'm really excited to proceed with the second part because I'm, I'm still uh, thinking about the solutions how to how to align my electronics, but guys This is the plenty amount of space honestly, and I think all, all the electronics will fit there nicely All right. Thank you for watching guys uh, See you on the next part if you are interested how to build the um, quad completely Subscribe, like and see you next time. Bye.